coming live from Central Florida, 23rd of January, 2011. Batch collector I'm assembling. Nowhere near done. I got a 50 gallon tank on the right hand side, a 40 gallon tank on the left hand side. It's uh, insulated with double pane glass from old refrigeration coolers. The box itself is constructed out of four inch thick. Uh, walk-in cooler, walk-in freezer panels. I just have it elevated now just to see if I can get some sun out of it. It's about uh, five and a half feet tall from one end of the glass to the other. And uh, right now, middle of the day, it's about uh, 55 degrees out here. And I have uh, 176 is the highest it's been to currently 171. It's been out here under glass for about an hour and a half. It's nowhere sealed, so it's not airtight. <clears throat> no plumbing has been connected to it. Just trying to give a give me an idea if I'm on the right track or not. So far it uh, is working out well. Still got to put some trim on it, build a base for it. Keep you updated. Signing off from Central Florida. Okay, this is part four of my solar batch water heater. And it's pretty much done. The, well, except for some mistakes. And that's what I wanted to go over uh, today is some of the problems that I'm having. Uh, I corrected the, I put a flashing across the top and uh, because when I opened the door it was uh, cutting the paint scratching the paint off on the door so what I did is I I got some uh, plastic uh, uh, trim and I screwed it down I put vinyl up here this is actually a, a piece of thick vinyl and uh, it's very warm today it's about 75 degrees outside and I bought a I bought a thermostat and it's almost I don't know if you can read that or not but don't go by the dial the dial is way off and it, it don't don't buy one of those things that I've uh, I've calibrated it and it's but you I don't know if you can see it or not but right now the water temperature is 136 point four degrees and then the inside of the the compartment here the the cabinet is actually over the the high limit on this thing is 139 and uh, I bought this uh, actually I, I should have I should have gotten one that'll do a higher temperature than that uh, now I've got the I don't know if you can see but the wire runs up and I've got it mounted to the top of the water heater uh, with some foil tape and then I've got some just some black duct tape over the top of that but uh, we're getting a really high temperature out here it's a hunt right now it's 136 and it's probably another 15 minutes or so and that's going to be over the limit for that too it went over the limit yesterday uh, a couple of things I've still got to do I, my uh, my reflective uh, cover is working well at night but I've got a little bit of an air gap around the edges uh, when I close it up it's not really sealing tight along the, uh, the, fl the brown flashing there and so what I want to do I want to uh, maybe take some uh, some door gaskets and I've already 